Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question that can be asked in DBA interview. The question is that can instance level collision be different from uh, database collision? Uh, obviously, it's talking about a SQL Server instance level collision. When uh, just just so that you know a little bit difference between database collision and uh, uh, instance level collision. Instance level collision is actually uh, uh, representing server level collision and uh, database is obviously uh, the database collision in the uh, in that particular uh, SQL Server instance. So uh, to answer this question, yes, it can be. When you install actually SQL Server uh, on any machine, uh, during the installation, um, it'll ask you that what instance level, you have an option to choose an uh, instance level uh, collision or server level collision. What happened is that if whatever the uh, um, server level collision that you choose, any database um, after you have installed SQL Server, any database that you create on that SQL Server, the collision by default on that database is going to be whatever you choose uh, from on, on the server level collision. So later on, you can change the database collision uh, however you want to. Sometimes it is a requirement that um, uh, your um, language might be different. Uh, you might be in different region. So you uh, uh, might have a different requirements, maybe whether it's going to be that database is going to be case, case sensitive or not. So depending on that uh, uh, particular requirement, you have to change the collation of uh, database. So um, again, let me show you real quick that where you can find instance level collision and how you can change the database collision. How can it be different? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open up my management studio. I'm going to go ahead and connect with my database engine, the instance that I wanted to uh, 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 study this uh, uh, server level collision and uh, database collision. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that. So right here, as you can see that it's, uh, it's connected. In order to see what uh, server level collision is, you are going to go ahead and right click on the server, go to properties, and the, up here you will see server collision. It's a SQL Latin general CP1 CIAS. That means any database, uh, unless until uh, explicitly uh, uh, of that database is defined in terms of a collision is different, then it's going to be SQL Latin general CP1 CIAS. So uh, this is how you look at the server level collision. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And let's look at the expand the databases. These are two user-based uh, uh, databases, um, uh, user-defined databases. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Sales, go to the Properties, and click on Options. If you click on Options, the first thing you will see is collation. So right now, the database collation of, of uh, this database is CP1 CIS. I'm going to go ahead and actually change that. Uh, collision just to show you the difference that it can be changed and it can be different so click on that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, instead of a CIAS I'm going to change to CSAS so I'm gonna go ahead and change that and click OK so if you look at it our server collision is different and just real quick go to the properties option and here it is CSAS. So yes, it can be different. I hope you like the answer. I hope it helps.